crews at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in Japan have started work on a project to stop highly contaminated water from escaping into the environment. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers discover three of seven underground storage pools are leaking. TAPCO officials believe pools one and two may be leaking the most, so they're placing priority on draining them. On Tuesday, workers started transferring about 20 tons of water per hour from pool two to an above-ground tank more than 400 meters away. Officials say the pipes used in this process will be long. They plan to step up monitoring to ensure no water escapes during transfer. They estimate they'll be able to move more than 23,000 tons of contaminated water by early June. But the underground pools will continue to leak during the operation. Crews will pump any contaminated water they collect back into the pool to minimize damage to the environment. TEPCO officials say the volume of contaminated water at Fukushima Daiichi is increasing by about 400 tons per day. They will no longer use the underground storage pools and plan to install more above-ground tanks. They're working on finding a way to decontaminate the water. Currently, only two of Japan's 50 commercial reactors are online and generating power. A group of citizens has been waging a legal battle to shut those units down. But judges on a Japanese district court ruled... There wasn't enough evidence showing the nuclear plant poses a risk. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa reports. The plaintiffs in this case had hoped for a legal victory. Now they're coming to terms with their loss. The court decision is really regrettable. The case centers on the OE plant in Fukui Prefecture. The operator of the facility, Kansai Electric Power Company, restarted two reactors there last August. Engineers said computer simulations showed the units would be able to sustain a major earthquake. But some residents weren't convinced. More than 260 of them filed an injunction to force the utility to stop the reactors. They argued faults near the units could be active and that a quake could trigger a major accident. The judges at the Osaka District Court disagreed. They ruled there is no evidence proving the faults are active. And they say the plant's operator has put sufficient safety measures in place. It's just very shocking, and I feel that uh, if things continue like this, we're headed for uh, another Fukushima. This is the first court decision on the safety of a nuclear plant following the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Plaintiffs across the country have filed more than 10 similar cases. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World, Osaka.